God, please help your Holy Ghost to speak through me. Ask it in your name and for your sake. Amen. In Genesis 6.17, God brought judgment to the earth in the form of the flood. And after that time, people spoke one language. Everybody in the world knew the stories of the flood all around the world. And yet, Nimrod was able to convince everyone in the world to rebel against God. I want you to think about that and I'll tie that in. Today, when you go in the grocery store, 40 aisles in the grocery store to choose from. But all of the products in those aisles are owned by five or six different entities. Like you may think you have a choice of the cornflakes you have for breakfast, but, but the cornflakes are owned by the same five or six different entities. In 2015, more than half of all the mortgages were owned by the federal government. In 2015, more than half of all the mortgages were owned by the federal government, by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. And since the pandemic, that number has increased even more. Now the ones, the fallen angels are still living on this earth and the satanic leaders that listen to these fallen angels that control things, that are controlling and building this new tower of Nimrod which is going to become the one world government, which is going to be one day ruled by the Antichrist. You're seeing this tower of Nimrod being rebuilt by these satanic leaders and the fallen angels that they listen to. These uh, leaders are able to tumble economies, they can build economies. I mean there was a Thanksgiving 2021 news article where the Dow dropped 900 points these things, they're not by accident. They're by design. What they're doing is they're creating a problem. And then the leaders of this world system will one day come to you and act like a savior. They'll come to you with a solution to the problem that they created in the first place. There's an article that says universal basic income advanced the United States China strategy. That article isn't by mistake, it's by design. That strategy is not by mistake, it's by design. I want you to listen to what I'm saying and consider it. I just want to pause for a moment and for us to think of a few glimpses here. If they control the food supply, if they control the companies that provide you the food supply, if they control the mortgage com if they control the mortgage companies, if they control the companies that finance you, if they control the companies that sell to you, if they control the monetary system. If they control how prices go up and how prices go down, if they control rising and falling prices and rising and tumbling economies, they cornered the market just like Nimrod in Genesis did. He got all the people of the world to rebel against God. These people today, these Satanic leaders and the fallen angels have cornered the market. And they're going to work to convince everyone that isn't saved to rise up against God. They're going to work together. They're going to work to convince anyone that's not saved 
that doesn't know who Jesus Christ is as their Savior, they're going to convince these people to rise up against God and to follow the Antichrist. I mean, one day people are going to wake up in this society as it's getting worse and worse and realize they can't survive in it. And then these ones in charge are going to come with an answer. And I believe the answer is going to be the universal basic income. Right now with blockchain technology and with the Internet of Things and with quantum computing, the infrastructure is being put in place to control, to manipulate people into following the Antichrist and to allow the Antichrist to, and to provide a way for the Antichrist to enforce his rule that you won't be able to buy or sell unless you have the mark of the beast. That's Revelation, that's Revelation 13, 17. That's Revelation 13, 17. They're going to come to you with a solution to try to help you feed your family. And it'll be in the form of the universal basic income. But it's going to come with control and manipulation. They're going to say, all right, in order to get this income, you're going to have to do certain things. You can think of it like today. You can think of it like today that you can't travel unless you meet certain requirements. Today, you know, when you see things like you're not going to be able to be employed unless you meet certain requirements. You see things coming that you must be vaccinated to work or to get into certain places. When you see that start coming, you're, which we are beginning to see the beginnings of it, you're going to, when you start seeing these things, you know you're in the time, you know you're in the season of the Antichrist and that Jesus Christ is going to be returning soon. And we need to be looking up and waiting for Jesus to return and living right and asking Jesus if we have it. If we haven't yet asked Jesus, we need to ask Jesus to be our Lord and Savior. While well, we still have time. Satan realizes that his time on earth is short, so he's working overtime to attack you and your family. I mean, Christians don't realize that we are to redeem the time. Ephesians 5.16 says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. We need to make the most of our time here. We need to ask Jesus to save us if we haven't. We need to confess our sins and ask Jesus Christ to save us. We need to start living for Christ, but also we need to realize that our job is to carry on the gospel of Jesus and to trust Him, to trust Jesus that He'll protect us. Because even though these times seem really horrible, We've got to remember in Malachi 3.6 that God does not change and that God will protect us. And He'll watch over us. And if we just trust Him, we'll have a peace that passes all understanding. And we'll be able to survive in this time. I believe we'll, in my heart of hearts, we'll go up in the rapture when Jesus comes and we won't ever, and we won't ever have to meet the Antichrist on this earth. I believe that the rapture is a pre-tribulation rapture because... There's a Bible scripture that says we're not appointed to God's wrath, but unto salvation. So if we're saved, we're going to be raptured to be with the Lord. And we won't have to meet the Antichrist. But it's very important, because the times are the way they are, to accept Jesus as our Savior and to live for Him to the best of our ability. To love God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. God, I hope something I said helped someone ask in your name, Jesus Christ, and for your sake, amen. I don't care what some people may say. In God, I found a better way. Love is just around the corner I 
If you don't listen, you might not know God's there. Seems that we need to find the truth Every day look at what we do Hate keeps raining down on us Look like we need God to clear the Love would be all around us in the assurance of his Some people may say In God I found a better way 